We're back. Uh, I had a cat emergency that caused me to extend the break time. Very sorry about that, guys. However, cats are very demanding, as you may know if you are a cat owner. Is Master Scourge a blind master now? I don't think not so. Not cat owner, it's cat cohabitor. Yeah. Sure. If not servant. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Uh, so I must have missed any discussion that this group had during the break. Oh, uh, I think we just broke. Oh, okay. Um, money. If I'm looking at the loot sheet right, I've got like 17,500 gold. Okay. Because when the only two of us survived, we split the money, and that's how Yarl paid the 15,000 bribe, right? Right. Correct. Okay, so mm -hmm. I have a lot of money to pay for whatever I need to get myself back ship shape in Bristol fashion. Yeah, but who's going to do it? Are we doing a true res? Or we... No, we can't do a true res. Mm -hmm. Sounds like we need to go back into town or find somebody that can do a raise dead. And then wait a couple weeks for a couple of restorations. I'm sure Which that is... this missing woman will probably wait. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I said to the omnipotent voice that came down from the sky, yo, she's surrounded by ghosts. She's not going anywhere. Nice. Are we back, by the way? Oh, yeah, we're back. We're live. Oh, what we're live. We're on do? stream. Okay. Hi, audience. Hello, uh, yeah, 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 I said I said at the beginning of my conversation, I said, we're live. Oh, Sorry, we. Wow. I had a cat emergency. Yeah. That far back. Hi, really guys! <laughs> we're, on, we're on the internet. Nice! Have you guys seen the Scourge picture? Yeah. Of course I have. The, col the all-color one with the... Oh, man! Yep. What are you talking about? That, that is insane! Pirate Lord Scourge. Um, <clears throat> they, they, someone did some fan art for Scourge for the... Um, Skulls and Shackles game, and did some fan art for Yarl for this game. And it is awesome. You know, for a about... Yarl is fucking ripped, by the way. Huh? I said for a halfling, Yarl is ripped. Yeah. We're talking, we're talking about, um, what's his name? Radisaurus. Um, yeah, Radisaurus, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's insane. So... Oh. What's the plan? So keep hearing the it, word it, money. Money is not the issue here. The issue is how do you get somebody alive? How do we get it? Yeah. Well, none of us can do it, so we need to find somebody who can do it. Any chance Koya's reached that point? Koya is several days away from you. Yeah. The we're, caravan we're... is back at the Ronin camp. Um. Yeah, because we're kind of... We got nothing, y'all. I mean, I don't think there's anything we can do. Um, I... Uh, this is after the fact, and it feels grubby, but I am How certain about... I would not have come out here without my hireling, my follower. Where is he doing but, all of this, then? But Well, exactly. He's not going to be here. He's probably going to be back on the on the mainland in town somewhere. Hey. So we had at least cross the cross the river back to town. But uh, I don't even think he's what I'm twelve. So he's he's got to be at least ten or lower. Ten. Yeah. Well, he's ten. If I'm twelve, and Question. I don't think ten can cast anything. But I need to three, find five, something. One, three, five, seven, nine. So Some fifth level spells shooter? would be raised dead. Lane shift, creep food and water, and log, persistent areas. Nope. Plain old Ginny can't wish. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'm trying uh, to look. I'll, uh, <laughs> so I go over to all these people that are like, you know, trying to work out their head where to take this body and stuff, and I'm just like, do we need a like? Preserve it? Yeah, it's Cleric 5, so he should be able to cast Raise Dead. That's a Chilton Genie. Like, do I need to put like, it in a bag? Yeah, third party. I 
can put some bombing fluid in it. You can also do the restorations it. for us. Uh, I mean, like, he's he's going to get, like, you know, rigor mortis, like... No, I can I can actually preserve the body. It won't decay at all. That's one of my things. Oh well, if magic can do it. Then why what? do you need alchemy? Right. I'm seeing, okay, twelve, <laughs> twelve hit dice or less. So is that all right, Arthur? Is what all right? My hireling, he can cast where he's dead. Yeah. yeah, I have no problem with that. That's the thing he can do. Okay, so I think I'm going to say that he makes sure he has several. Restorations and at least one raised dead ready. <laughs> uh, you're gonna need the the money to do that. We gotta have the diamond, yeah, five thousand gold piece. Did you pick that up somewhere ahead of time? I would absolutely love to say I did, considering how many deaths we've had and how often we die. You have the money to pay for it, however. Uh, I have eleven grand unspent. Okay, so. then yeah, I'll. We'll say that he's he's bought it on his own, and we'll uh, take that out of uh, Leita's money because I'm uh, already. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Leita will pay you back. He, you know, you call in a marker or something. Uh, so you take the body to Master Li Mu Bai. He's waiting back at the ferry docks, working on his thesis paper for uh, a study on human arrogance. Uh, and he's just like, oh, yes, I see that this particular person is dead. What would you like me to do? It would be wonderful if he were not dead. Oh, very well. I will entreat with his soul. Uh, and he spends ten minutes uh, humming a mantra. Leta, do you wish to come back from the dead? You are being raised by a lawful good creature. Ouch. Lawful? That sucks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll come here. back. I'm not going to give up on this character yet, quite yet. Okay, uh, you return to your body and take two negative bubbles, but you are brought back to life. <sighs> okay, and he should be able to cast a couple of restorations a he day. You can cast one restoration on each person. Okay, all right. So I'm going to be there when he wakes up. I have a piece of paper and an ink quill. And the moment he wakes up, I'm just like, so how do you feel? Describe it for me. <laughs> all right. So this says it cures all temp damage, restores all permanently drained from one score of your choice, and eliminates fatigue, exhaustion, and one permanent negative level. And That's you can only do one negative level a week. A week, yep. So, what, does that make it a negative one instead of a negative two? Yep, and you get five hit points towards your maximum back. Cool. I'm back to full con. Yay. Speaking about con, how are we going to deal with these, uh... Light them up. Light them up, back, and I pull ready. the scroll, <laughs> and I pull out a scroll of daylight, literally. So what happens if they say light them up? Are you going to put hashish in the scroll as you roll it, and then light it on fire, <laughs> and blow some dank smoke at them? <laughs> no, no. Do the old no. roll a joint with a phone book trick? <laughs> No, the only things that are dank about at least Miss Hardy's is his memes. Wow. Yeah. You grew up right in the age where exploring <laughs> wasn't a thing, so you had to explore the dank memes instead. <laughs> like you're you're like most wizard spell books are like, you know, really complicated and articulate. Yours is like literally Pepe faces like doing hand symbols <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> Maybe not that dank. <laughs> Rarest Pepe's. You draw them yourself, put them in your spell book that no one can read. No, I mean... That's like, right, motherfucker. I, I'm, I'm from the internet. I know what they're going to say. <laughs> no, I mean literally cast daylight and walk around with daylight on. Yeah. 
Which would be bad for them. Very bad. I think they would be banished. Well, two of them anyway. Well, three. Uh, I think the red one was not the same description, right? It would also be forced away. Before we do that, is there any negative connotations to walking around in the plane of shadows with light pouring off your body? Nope. Like, it's not going to, like, well, there goes the floor, and then you fall down forever, or anything like that. No, that's a great idea. Nah, it doesn't quite work like that. Everything will see us coming, but, eh. Okay. I mean, you're the authority on wizardry stuff, so... Let me know if you ever want to preserve the next person who dies, because I can do that. But apparently the cleric can also do that, too. Uh, it's okay to have so, more than one person that can do something. Yeah. I can walk on a wall if I drink a potion. Can't do that. All right. Um, so... Are we resetting spells? Well, I was just going to say, I, honestly, I don't know why we couldn't go back, right? Do we want to? Yeah, well, I have. I mean, I have we have no idea. Con- I have, we have no idea what this young lady's state is, right? Yep, you have no idea. Right. What you do know is that she might be inside this fortress, and inside the fortress are a bunch of scary creatures that can pass through walls and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we didn't find her. We didn't find her above ground at all. Something knows you're there. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that can't be bad. You know. All right, I'm going to. Arthur, I'm going to make four bursts of speed. Okay. No, do we have enough have formula for the day to do that? Well, I mean, we're waiting, aren't we? Well, and that, that was the whole question. Are we going to rest overnight, or are we going to go back and try to save this girl? I mean, it's a, I don't know. Did your I've follower used... just happen to have Ray's dead and a bunch of restorations memorized? Yes. Uh, that, yeah, yeah that is, that's actually a thing with him, because we die a lot. Yep. What uh, cool. It looks like you can make a bunch of bursts of speed. It's going to take almost all your formula spots, but yeah, you can do it. I have five, I have four left, so. I mean, yeah, I'll make I'll make I'll make the last four bursts of speed. Well, you don't. I have grace, so you don't really have to make one. For me, I can slide through, if you want to save one. Okay. Yeah, I'll save one. I will say So if we're going to be fighting incorporeal creatures and shadows, does anybody want a mage armor? I have plenty. Um, sure. Doesn't mage armor, like, remove your armor? It doesn't remove it, although it does help where normal armor won't when it comes to incorporeal touch attacks. So can I have my armor and mage armor on? Yes. Of course. That's but it idea. doesn't stack it does not stack. Your regular armor will do nothing versus the scary monster folk, but the mage mm. armor will. Mm. My armor was celestial. Was that like a thing? No. That special? no it I... doesn't do anything special in that regard. Okay. It, it is exceptionally away. nice armor, though. Yep. Oh. Yep. And yeah, it does let you fly. It All right. Fly. Before so... we go in, I will burn a tar- uh, lay on hands for a Vindicator's shield. So that I'm back up. Okay, so now I'm at 54 out of my full hit points, which is 76, I want to say. 74. And, uh, Arthur, I was wrong about the ghost touch. Okay. Not a thing. Okay. It's uh, eighth level paladin, and I'm only seven because the uh, PRC. Okay. Is it the heresy? Yeah. I no, the PRC. <laughs> Prestige class. All right. So let's go back in. I will pearl of power back my grace just in case. Because that sounds like it might be important. You have been using it fairly often. I seem to be He's in a very bind. graceful man. So. I seem to be in a bind fairly often. So the Enro will show us the way? 
sake room. I have to assume that uh, Leta shared this uh, information that her deity. A year ago? Not yet, no. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. We don't know. You have all the movements in your joints back. You don't feel any arthritis or anything like that? I felt better. (laughs) <laughs> what is can you describe dying for me please so while you're while you're getting up and moving around Leita, master limu bai is like prodding at your joints and helping you flex and it's like hmm good strong lean muscle not enough exercise try calisthenic in morning take two ginseng pill all right i was expecting more of a laugh no. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. No. Sorry, I no was. No pity laughs. It. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm retreating yeah. from this one. All right. Yeah, I was just reviewing all my spells. I forgot I do. Don't have, jab Bush on us, man. I do have a fourth level spell, and it is actually Death Ward. So. I was thinking of doing a Howard Dean. I would just yell yeehaw, and then I'd lose all my credibility. Yep. And yet somehow Donald Trump. <laughs> See, I did all my spells so that they are either some sort of repair, like restoration, or defense from undead. So, since that is my thing. All right, y'all, let's go. We going back in? Yep. I have a are we, slap and tickle. Are we going to burn a scroll of daylight, or would you like to cast daylight? I can I will cast it. You should save yours for emergencies, and I can actually pearl a power back the spell if we need it. So, so Dave, it. it's important that you mark down your next ten bombs or go salt it. You're going to need to keep track. Oh, I'm doing ten bombs. Okay. Yeah, ten pieces of ammunition. Oh yeah. Yep. And wow, that's actually nice. But I, I mean. <laughs> Bombs are classified as weapons, so theoretically speaking. They're, they're, each one is its own piece. Okay, alright. It's like shuriken. Alright, it's ten bombs, got it. And this is just like paste running out, and I'm using it, because the way that bombs work, I can't uh, pre yeah, You're like it. pouring... It, it's like watching metallurgy, you, you or chemistry, you're literally like pouring one liquid into another to... Yeah. And force it. Yeah. Okay. I like to think of it as like molten. Uh, I've always thought of it as like molten iron that you see. Yeah, like like, like a like people a, like um, pouring into a forge. Except in this case, you're like putting it into a tiny vial. I, I like to think of it like like the bombs are sort of almost like mercury. Oh a yeah. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're sort of like silver and sparkly. Like got like glitter and shit in it or whatever. Um, cause that's, that's, uh, Sol's, like, trademark for glitter and shit. Um, so, the fact that these, it's sort of like a silvery mercury thing, and then, like, you know, the ghost powder uh, paste is sort of like, like, he would, what he would do, he'd put his finger in it, he'd smear it on the inside of the glass, I guess, and then he'd pour the mercury into it, and then throw it. Okay. That's how I imagine it would happen. So, what's the plan? Yo, we're gonna go fuck up some ghosts. And ride the ghost train down to hell, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we'll go back downstairs and, uh, soon. Oh, I should probably heal before we go down there, guys. Who's down the most? At least 20. I'm like 10 points down, it's not a big deal. Down 20, because until recently I had Conjuring. As someone with planar powers, at least, Smith, you could technically call one who busts ghosts. I could, couldn't I? Let me go through the list of... Let me go right. through the... I was joking. You don't want to blink pre creatures down here. They're all going to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> if they don't die here, they die for real. They can't disobey your orders, but they can get super salty with you. What about if I give them a cool hat when they show up? And uh, just like, oh, they'll be great if they like the hat, but they still don't want to die forever. All right, who else... Who else needs healing? I know some of us are down. I'm, I'm down by 10, so I'm cool. What are those two right, ones for? Five. Those were me. So there's 12 for Dave. 
Who else? Uh, uh, at least Miss needs 20. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I'm only down by... Sorry, I was only down by five. Oh, okay, one less. All right, so that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight charges. Okay, good to go. Because I have five less total HP. Could call some Ghostbusters, but the Ghostbusters will say we're not going in there. Now, are you are you calling the female team of Ghostbusters, or are you calling the male team of Ghostbusters? I don't know. You can call the female okay. team as long as they're also led by Bill Murray, right? So here's the thing: if you call the female team, Thor will be their secretary, so we could use him in battle as well. Oh yeah, Chris Hemsworth. God. But unfortunately, he'll be nothing but a secretary, and he can't bring his cleric powers. <laughs> but he can still lift the hammer of Thor, so, you know, it's that. So what's the plan, I ask again? We All walk right. in there, and we, we show them what real sunlight feels like on the skin. Yep. Cast daylight as soon as we get down the okay. stairs. You're passing through the gate again? Um... I'm gonna buff up a lot first. Sure. Yeah. So does okay. So hang on. Explain to me some things that I can do in order to stop ghosts from hitting me. Can I put on like? Um, so mage, mage armor is the only thing. Yes, mage armor will do stuff. Yeah. Anything that's force, mage armor, shield, the spell shield, not a shield. Um, yeah. Can I can I drink something like? Um, if you can drink something like, that gives you a deflection bonus. Yeah. Yeah, it's shield. I have shield. Um, can I do something like stone skin? Or does that work? Uh, no. It would, I mean, it's, it's, it's negative kind of, energy because it'll, so it'll get around any DR that's stone skin. Oh, okay. What about like something like um, uh, natural armor plus, like box skin? Nope. No, natural armor won't help you. Anything that gives you an armor bonus will be ineffective. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap and tickle that shield potion into my gullet, Arthur. It's only before we walk in one minute, right? Yeah, that's why before we walk into the okay. room. Cat's yeah. Grace, alter self to be a small version of yourself. That'll give I you can't some. do that. I remember, I can't do any of those changing uh, size things. Person. I'm not a person. Remember, alter self isn't a person spell. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep. No, actually, Alter Self oh. allows you to make it look like you're a different native outsider. Right. You can use it. You can't look like a human. Correct. But you can theoretically use it. My my um, Ifrit Veiled Illusionist tends to walk around dungeons looking like a Babao demon. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things I was just High level. Hideously ugly, dangerous demon thing. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, I don't believe I have any other really good protections that are long enough to bother. So. What about like um, blur or something? Will blur help? I think you already have a cape that gives you blur. I know, but it adds an extra twenty. It'll help. Miss chances are always fun. That cape has worked for me. For 5k, I'm bad. All right, whatever. So I'm, I'm going to ask again, what do you do? Okay. I, I, sounds like we're ready. I'm going to cast Daylight. Okay. Uh, As you enter the room, you banish all of the shadowy creatures. Okay. That was easy. We continue walking. Check the room and press on through. Okay. Leita hasn't, Leita hasn't shared any of the information with us. Nope. Not yet. Nope. All right, cool. All right. We did have notes about that thing, and we were told that it was... Uh, yes, I do have the notes from earlier. Let me pull them up. That we were told that it was the, the way to find her or something like that when we examined it. I don't remember much other than that, and I don't have the notes about it, so that would be uh, cheating. To enter your place through dark and shadowed gates, but the Ten reflection minutes. is not me. Silkworm cocoon, yellow calcite and blue, lapis lazuli, three camperwood beads. 
Are these just generic items, Arthur? Is there anything in particular I can look at them alchemical-wise? Alchem- you asked wise? about that before. Yeah, they're not yeah. magical. They're not... Yeah, they're just... So, if I was to say have the same item, would it work the same way? I don't know what you're asking. In whatever context. Like, yeah. if I have a silkworm cocoon, if I have just, like, six of them, and, you know, I'm holding them, if, if it comes to the whatever part that we need to use a silkworm cocoon at, could I theoretically use any silkworm cocoon? I don't think you'd have any idea whether or not that would be true. Plus, okay. we don't even know what to do or where to do it yet. So Yeah, you have no idea be clear. what these are for. Like all, like all prophecy, it becomes clear the second you need to do it. Like all prophecy, second. it becomes yes. clear long after you've already finished it, and someone's like, oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> and we could have avoided all of those seven kill rooms if we just used a cocoon and said, we're a spider troop of actors, and then it would have been fine. Obviously, obviously, what you really need is a jade cocoon, which is a reference not many people are going to get. Um, the game was amazing. Good. Good story. Cool story. It was what happened when you combine Monster Rancher and Pokemon with a game set in a forest. What about if I told you that there's also one that you can do where you collect slimes? It's called Slime Rancher. Yeah, it's about 10 seconds old. Aid Cocoon is a 20-year-old classic. Fine, Shall we fine. continue so pressing? So I ask again for like the fifth time in a row. <laughs> we already told what you what we're doing. You were like, what do we do? Hallway. We look around the room. You find nothing. And then I'm like, what do you okay. do? And everyone's like, hallway. I don't know. I look at this in row. Moving all down. Moving on up. Head Moving on out. Hallway. Okay. As you continue west through the hallway, you eventually... Uh... I'm not going first anymore. Well, you're not going. <laughs> I, I need everyone to arrange themselves where you they're gotta at. You got to at least do traps, man. I'll jump in front of you, but <clears throat> I can see ten feet. So you, you come to another gate. You you put yourselves okay. wherever you want to be, but you need to put yourself somewhere. Arthur, um, you want to make me a one instead of a two? Sure. I mean, you can do it yourself. Oh, I can. Yeah, you can click on your token and pull the panel down by hitting the uh, dot button. Yep, you're doing Have- it now. And How did I press hit? one instead of clicking on it? So if you hover over it and press one, look at that. Oh. Science. Nice. Um, cool. Yarrow, you come before a another gate that is draped with cherry wood beads. So it's like a bead curtain made out of cherry wood. I'm trying to think, didn't we have some kind of beads in the camper wood? Not cherry wood. Yeah, but still, camphor wood beads on a string. Let me see those. Uh, sure. I figure out where the line is here for the square. Kind of like there we go. Um, hey, pull out the the bead with the 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 string with the camphor wood beads on it. I think we okay. need to find the camphor wood door. Yeah, probably. And look at the ones in the curtain and look at the ones that we have. Are they similar at all? They are of the same shape and size, but one is made out of, uh, I want to say cheddar. And one is made out of cherry and the other is made mm. out of camper wood. Right. Okay. Um, I Hot would, cheddar? I hold the hold camper wood beads up to the curtain of uh, regular beads. Okay. You hold the... Yeah. Beads next to the beads. Touch them. Touch them to the curtain. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing okay. happens. Uh, Elismus, can you tell us something about this gate? Uh, detect magic. Uh, there is a second gate beyond this gate that is invisible and magical. Let me guess. A quick knowledge arcana. Uh, uh, it's currently been activated. Uh, pressing you when you press the beads to the other beads, you brush the curtain, disturbing mm-hmm. it, and activated a summoning. This gate has been activated. It has summoned something. It does not seem to be present. My guess: more shadows. Let's try to find the camphorwood yeah. gate. Let's just walk on through then. I guess since we've already 
done the thing. At least I understand your summons are temporary. Can we not just wait a half hour and have them go away? Well, if they're regular people summons, we can wait a minute or two and have them go away. I don't know. I don't know anything about it, so no help. Mm -hmm. Are we waiting or are we going? Enter your place through dark. Yeah, well, it might as well just get it. It's pretty young. I, uh, I hate for this girl to be languishing here, being tortured or something, while we're trying to figure out what to do. So, Okay. Uh, Leitar, are you following for traps? Staying within 10? Um... I can get in front of Saul, but... Okay. As long as you tell me before I walk into something. All right, I'll walk on down to the corner. You want to get in front of me? Yeah. All right. Uh, Yerl, in the next room, your light immediately disturbs uh, four human-sized... Uh, what appear to be maggots that are shaded purple that have giant bristling quills like a porcupine sitting off of their back. As they move, it becomes clear to you that their shadows that they cast upon the wall from your daylight are not moving. The shadows are perfectly still. All of the creatures turn to look at you and their quills go out uh, in a puff and they begin making a noise. But they don't move towards us? They do not. So fiendish dire porcupines? They are, <laughs> they are not actual porcupines. They are giant maggots. Maggots. maggot, purple maggot with quill monsters okay. this of is, enormous uh, size. So as I walk closer, does the light seem to be bothering them? Uh, you're, you're moving five feet closer? I'll move five feet, yes. Okay, I need you to roll for initiative as they all begin leaping at you. All right. Could it just let us throw in a few bombs in there real quick? That would have been cool. Yeah, I'm fine with, with doing ranged weapons from right here, so I'm all good. That was a perception roll, not an initiative roll. Damn it. One time I crit. Nice. Initiative, please. It's like some elevator music being played and so hey. Uh, hey. Da, da, da. I'm the fastest tiefling in the world. <laughs> the Kate <cake> Crusader. <laughs> uh Kate Crusader Jarl is a halfling cleric paladin. Um Holy Vindicator. Dan? Kate Crusader is asking what race class everyone is. It should all be listed under your names uh, now that we switch back to the other screen. Oh, okay. Yep, I switched back so that people could read it. Also so that oh, I can okay, move so stat pages. Uh, I was literally like, surely I won't need to set this combat up. There's no way they would approach creatures that are obviously in a defensive stance. Uh, but yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta find out if there's any, anything in there, but, I mean, effectively we can just leave. I can see from here there's nothing else in the room. Uh, there is nothing else in the room currently. Okay, Thus well I'll tell everybody else. The puddling in the corner. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll tell everybody else, let's just, let's just leave. Okay, rather You're, not, rather is not everyone mess just leaving and passing back through the gate? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of filled with murderous rage. <laughs> I'm okay with just leaving if everybody else is, but Yara will wait. I'll. I'm not in turn order, so. All uh, right, let's back up and see if they follow. So how far is is everyone going back? And if so, how far back are you going? I'll go we just. Have any other? Oh, I'll we go have just another. past the barrier. Past the curtain, obviously. Yeah. Okay, you're no, all going... on the inside of the curtain. Okay, you're Just all going inside. past the curtain. Uh, you hear something chase after you for a short time, but nothing appears in the hallway the curtain is in. Okay. 
All right, then we'll go all the way back, I guess, and continue down the hallway. As yes. you re-enter this particular room, the shadows burst out of the walls for a moment, and then the daylight spell hits them, and they fade back into the wall. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I loved Arthur's subverted fucking like trickery with the uh, with with the dog bros being all like, "Yeah, you should totally not put on the lamp." <laughs> well, that's the thing. It that's in a dungeon. If you have a torch, I understand. It's I understand. visible around corners. No, I understand. I'm yep. just, They're I'm just all like ready for us. I like so. the idea of Arthur being like, yes. <laughs> Don't <do this> right. <laughs> uh, so, Yarrow, there is another gateway directly in front of you to the north. Now, can we try something with this? Can we, like, see if we can get over the top of this gateway before we, like, do any stupid, like, oh, you accidentally brushed a rosary bead against it. There's no way like, to go it... over it. It's built into the ceiling. Okay. What about if, you know, I burrow around it? Uh, you're going to burrow into the walls? Sure. All right. Well, let me describe the gateway before you use that uh, maneuver. Yerl, mm -hmm. this particular gate is made with mulberry beads and a bead curtain. All right. So we had an orange moon gate. Yep. A cherry bead gate, and now a mulberry. Mulberries are delicious. I don't think this is the right one. Yeah, you know, I think I think that we can safely ignore this and see if we find one with camphor beads. Let's press on. Either camphor wood, lapis lazuli, or yellow calcite in blue. Yeah. What happens or, if it's behind this one? Because there was a second curtain behind the other well, one. Well, if we if we don't find one, we can always backtrack. But you know, we can avoid stirring up nasties if it's uh, one of the ones in the hallway, right? Uh, yeah. no. so, so an interesting yeah. note about Mulberry is that the lead character of the Yojimbo Akira Kurosawa films, his name was Mulberry Fields. <laughs> Mulberry fields forever. Because when he was asked what his name was, he looked out at the plants next to him and said, that thing. That thing right there. That's how you get cool, guys. It's not by having a big gun or by wearing shades. It's by being like, I'm that. By having conversations in a place where also your namesake is so you can look cool. Coolness is achieved. All right. Look around the corner, I guess. Uh, you see a gate immediately west of you. Okay. Uh, it is a moon gate, and the gate is made with a purple gem. The gem is... Violet um, Jasper. Not one of the things we have, okay. I'll move down and look down this hallway, I suppose. Assuming that Leita is still looking ahead of me for traps, and I'm not just blundering into crap. Okay. As you pass around the corner, you see a silk curtain gate. This is it. Ah, silk, silk worms. Yeah, okay. Yeah, hey, that, that works. We might have actually figured something out instead of just bashing around, blowing stuff up. Cool. Uh, I will step forward a little without touching it so that uh, Elismas can look at it. Oops. Okay, that's that's touching it. So people uh, in chat are wondering what this means. Do you guys want to explain your theory as to what ah. the gems and how this all works? Can you put up the graphic of the... I can uh, put the graphic up. The Chinga watch it? full-length graphic. Okay. So when we so, went... Oh, sorry. You oh, go, go ahead, Dan. You good. You got it. When we went to the geisha's office to try to recruit the head geisha to maybe uh, support our cause, she said, well, one of our best geishas who had all the good clients went missing, and she said that 
foreigners would come by and ask for your favor and blah, 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 try to look for me and to give them this. And it was this inro with stuff inside of it. And we're now figuring out that those things correspond to each of the gates in here. So the one on top is camphor wood beads. The one on the bottom is yellow calcite and blue lapis lazuli, or the one in the middle, rather. The one on the bottom is a silkworm cocoon. Mm -hmm. And we're still. I, sus I suspect that we will find individual body parts in each of the rooms. <laughs> and then we have to, like, remake the Frankenstein, much together. like this, uh, Take her back this device. Her back hey, yeah, we have Ray's it. dead. We're okay with that. I believe this object will show us the way. Really? That sounds like insight. Okay. Very cool. It's almost like you talk to a god in the afterlife or something, <laughs> but that's impossible. You All right, so uh, I, I, Elise, did you make your check for the uh, quick detect magic? The gate is what not is magical. the detect magic? Like, not is it magic. like there's How no magic <laughs> either at this gate or beyond it. That's correct. So all this time we're walking through stirring up fights and getting our butt kicked and we didn't even have to go in there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yep, just a silk gate. All right. Um, I did, what, eight charges? And this is like a bunch of like... You know, actual people in here. All right, so we'll proceed down to the corner and see what we see. Okay, the hallways <laughs> are all empty of any gates or ornamentation. It's almost like it's darn near useless to give us clues, Arthur. <laughs> you, you got to the clues eventually. Yeah, it took us a, a few bumps and bruises, but we get there. I got to admit, when I, I had to read the riddle a couple times to get what the fuck they were talking about, and it's going to get even well, worse, and you're going to scream incoherently in rage later. Well, I think I have the, the riddle actually written down. Um, Reflection is not me, whatever that means. To, okay, to enter your place through dark and shadowed gates, but the ref... Space selection is not me. Yes. You enter your place through dark and shadowed gates, but the reflection is not me. Okay. So, don't see anything um, else down in the hallway. We'll try the north one first. Yes. Okay. Anybody? You Preference? immediately yeah. come upon a gate. Uh, it's an orange moon gate again. Another orange one? Yes. Not Skip any of it. our stuff, so, yep. Into the hallway. It's nice to actually skip a, a, a fight now and then. This is pretty cool. We should do this more often. <laughs> Come on, Sal. We're leaving <laughs> you behind. Or, um, I'm with the bonner. Puzzles and dragons, man. Puzzles and dragons. Puzzles and dragons, yeah. It's puzzle and dragon. Yeah, it's right. puzzle and dragon. The DJ wheat. Yeah. The DJ right. continue DJ uh, continue looking down the hallways. Sure. We're on a roll. We got this figured, man. We're there. Sure. Where do you want to go? Uh, don't see anything down any of the intersections from where I'm at? Nope. Okay, well, let's try this one first then. Okay. As soon as you round the corner, your daylight spell comes upon a mirror. And a trap goes off. Oh. <laughs> Something is fired at you. But, huh? Well, that's why we had the Lismas right, I mean, Leta right behind me so she could detect. It happens as soon as you, as soon as you're able to see the trap, it goes off. It goes off anyway. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. I love uh, it. So let's find out what happens by rolling a bunch of dice. Okay, that's the thing that happens. Uh, can you make a will save, Yarrow? Yeah. As will. five pieces of ice detach themselves from the mirror and slam into your head. Nice. Um, I have bonuses, but I don't know if they apply here. 
I will look them up. We will just go ahead and roll for now and see if it matters. Oh, come on! Wow. You would have passed if you hadn't rolled a one. <laughs> it doesn't matter what my bonuses are. I'm. Uh, fortunately, your your any equipment that you have is going to be magical and so wouldn't be affected by this. Uh, taking damage, but you would take a hit to your armor. You get hit with five pieces of ice for nineteen points of damage. Okay. You got brained. <sighs> As you do that. that, the mirror shatters into pieces. Okay. Well, okay. No so more I guess moves. I guess if you have a light source, it's going to go off no matter what. Oh, so man, basically, yeah, whoever no, liked this it. doesn't like ro- whoever wrote this doesn't like rogues. That's what he's yeah. telling me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will. Bu- 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 I will burn a. Arthur, can I make a um, trap diffuse check to see whether use the wand if that trap went off by the sunlight hitting it or whether it went off? Yeah, go ahead and make a disabled device check. Okay, because I I honestly think it's because something was reflected in it rather than the light source. But thirty-three. Yeah, putting the pieces of the mirror back together. You take a couple minutes to look over the mirror. You eventually come to the conclusion that any natural light or any light of any kind that touches the mirror causes it to break, activating a random enchantment. There you go. It's and actually forcing me, and forcing me to instantly roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'll, I'll Don't worry. If you had to pass the roll, you'd roll a 20, man. I was going to say, I'll, I'll, I'll pull it out when I have to, so... Although, if there's ever a chance for a wildly spectacular failure, yeah, I'll do that, too. Maybe you should just cut your own eyes out again. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys do now? Do you perhaps discuss a change of party order, knowing what you now know? I think it's fine. I mean, the light's still going to hit the thing regardless. Or how about this? How about you give me... The thing with the daylight on it, since I'm in the middle. Uh, but it's, it's gonna matter. I mean, if you're all traveling together, the yeah. daylight's still gonna hit a thing. So, like, you can like yeah. put so, a radius. To be clear, soul, you would know the daylight has to directly. It's not like the light bouncing around the corner was affecting it. It's when whatever was daylighted was directly exposed. To okay, it. so I just don't put the daylight guy in the front. Done. Well, well, it's kind of unfortunate because I put it on my shield, so... Oh. Yeah. I just hand the shield off. That way I don't have to carry anything in my hands, so... All right. I will press on around to the west and hope Laytok can detect the next one without it being automatic. I'd have to go first, wouldn't I? I've got the bet, huh? I'd have to go first, wouldn't I? Now, I've oh, got yes. best saves and hit points and everything, so. All right, so what, halfway down this hall, you find another gate. Another gate? I know, shocking, isn't it? Impossible. This one, this gate is like... <laughs> Hello. Uh, this <laughs> gate is made of... Cheese. No, it's not a cheese gate. Uh, it has a jade green frame. Okay. Nope. <gasps> it's the jade region. Go through. Turn around. Uh-huh. Skip. There's probably some sick loot in here. All right, later you come immediately face to face with the gate. I'll step back so at least must can uh... Uh, this particular gate is uh, another purple moon gate. What? Uh, oh, we're going to go back then. We've missed one. Oh, oh wait. wait a minute. What if green is the answer? Green is yellow and blue. So that's all. We, we don't have any directions. We haven't met a gate, right? We haven't met a gate that's either blue or yellow. 
but we have met a gate that is blue and yellow. Yeah, green. Okay. Can we go back to the green gate then, I guess? Yep. So we have a purple, orange. All right. Where was the Quick. green one at? Was it this one? Yeah, it's right over here. Quick detect magic. It is not magical. We're clear. Well, why don't you just... I mean, like, wouldn't it just be better to walk around and see which ones are not magical and then go through those ones? <laughs> <laughs> like... Oh, God damn it. Come on, I man! I was wondering how long that would take. Like, well, like this I don't understand. Our, our, like, this is only the second one we found yeah, that was no. not magical, so it would make a lot of more sense now. Yep. <laughs> like, you hate to point out the obvious, <laughs> Pattern alchemist science in his brain. It makes him so super smart. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm seeing a pattern emerge as well. Yep. <laughs> as you know, you need three points to form a line, right? So. <laughs> hey, I'm a paladin. A I'm a paladin. It's a dump stat. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to do? Uh, press on forward. Oh, don't worry, yeah. Carol. The map is back. <sighs> so, what's the plan? What do you do? I don't know. Keep on moving. Keep on trucking. Okay, you see a gate directly north of you leading into another stonework room as equally lacking in features as the rest. This particular gate is made with a cotton curtain. Skip. Is it magical, though? Does it, Are you does checking it if it's magical? Sure. You should. Okay. It is sure. not magical. It is magical. Yes, it's definitely magical. I turn around to Saul and say, Saul, we have the key right here. We don't need to go around. Yes, but the you don't somewhere. know, for example, if, you know, the door that we need to go through is behind a door that isn't yep. on the key. Like, there's plenty of things we don't know. So, right, man, don't interrupt Saul's science, bro. He's a, <laughs> he's, a, he's a real scientist. Yeah. You can tell because he works with things that explode. Except mm. the second gate was behind the first gate. Yes, but the first gate, the second gate behind the first gate wasn't exactly non-magical as well, if that makes any sense. Uh, so the gate to the northern hallway uh, is made out of camphor wood beads. There you go. That's it. So let's go east. <laughs> well, careful with beats. We got it. Yeah, I know. I was being sarcastic. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Spooky music. And you're talking about this gate, Arthur? Yep, that particular okay. gate. All right. You move where you want to, and you tell me what you guys are doing. All right. Late time, you want to peek around the corner? This is a veritable maze. It's hmm. almost like a dungeon. It's a literal dungeon. It actually has dungeon walls. You can tell it's a dungeon because of the dungeon architecture. Yeah. And all the walls are made from the same... Uh, Ceramic mold. We just have a dungeon contractor that comes and builds dungeon on by demand. <laughs> you just got a big contractor. You, know, you, you have, have no idea. idea. That's actually what happened here. 
Mm. And they only had one wall, so they just put it everywhere. All right. I can just imagine it's just like, so what do you want the uh, maze to look like? Like, oh, I don't know. You guys work it out, and they do it, and then the guy's unhappy with it, so they have to redo it anyway. So it's like, hey, that's what you get when you go with the lowest bidder. Yeah. Yep. So what's the plan here, guys? We're taking Looking a around lot the corner. of time to move said. tokens Looking around the corner. one step forward. <laughs> we'll continue down these hallways till we find the proper gates. How's that? Uh, where you tell me where you're going. Cars? Like, all right, you you, you, you can down. see. Well, that's what I said. Did we see anything down the hallway? No. Nothing. The hallway okay, is as bland. Uh, you're going ahead, Yarl. <laughs> uh, as you go around well, the corner. I'm supposed to be one behind. Latos. So okay. I guess I can give him room to. Am I going first now, Leta? Um, not if we're worried about light traps. Okay. Uh, as you round the corner, Leta, with your dark vision, you see a mirror made entirely of shadow and obsidian. There's a mirror here made entirely of shadow and obsidian. Okay. You know what I do? I give, I give fucking, I give Yarol a fucking like mirror, and I just say, just peek around the corner with this, just. Like, just, just use it to peek around the corner. That way your light doesn't blow things up. That would that would literally do exactly what you just said. It's... It would blow stuff up. <laughs> yeah, because it's going to be in front of you, reflecting the light around the corner. <laughs> and then you said that it has to be the direct light, then. That's that's exactly how light works. It's going to bounce off. <laughs> yeah, but, but you also said that if light... The, okay, is, you would know the mirror right. would not work. You personally would know this. All right, so... Next corner. You personally would know this, that the mirror would bounce light directly onto another mirror. Uh, Leitha, as you, what's your choice here? Go west or north? North. Okay. You round the corner and you find yourself staring at yourself. I take a moment to bask in my handsomeness despite being diminished a level. And then I say, other way. Well, you know, you have to go down a level to go up a level. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. And there it goes. Yeah, but these levels aren't level. All right, Tim. Keep on, keep on trucking, then. Okay, can you guys place yourself in the next room? Okay. I will tell you what you see there. Wow. Five. All right, you all pull down a pitfall trap that you have in the city. <laughs> uh, <laughs> into a room filled with mirrors. <laughs> Illuminated <laughs> by a lantern <laughs> and furnished with carpets, tapestries, and cushions, uh -huh. this large room is dry yet comfortable compared to the rest of the dungeon. A life-size statue of eight armed female humanoids sits in the lotus position on a platform in the northwest corner. The statue holds a strange string instrument and several sets of hand symbols. Near the middle of the room, two women kneel on the floor facing each other as immobile as a statue. One woman looks mature and elegant wearing a rich, multi-layered kimono with an autumn fall motif that spreads on the floor as does her very long black hair. The younger woman is equally graceful and very beautiful and is dressed like a geisha. You recognize her immediately from her in row. But the reflection is not me. As you move into the room, a cloud of black gas begins to gather in the center of the room and from out of it steps a beast with the head of a monkey with enormous wolf fangs the body of a tiger, and a live viper as a tail. Chimera. It moves in behind you, uh, stopping your escape. Wow. Um, hello? What do you do? Hi. Um, uh, hello. <laughs> this is a surprise. I put the top knot on the Chimera. <laughs> you what? <laughs> I said I put the top knot on the Chimera. Um, uh, are you actually doing that? No, I'm not. Okay. So, he, you sound disappointed, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna 
step back into this corner and sweep the room with detect magic. Is there any so as you begin starting to cast magic, this lion creature opens its mouth, its monkey mouth to roar and says, No! No magic okay. here. Okay. Yeah, I like science. I sit down on a cushion off him. Should leave outsiders. Well, you're blocking my entrance, so. Um there's unfortunately a young lady here that we've been asked to find. You have found her. Now go. It's true, we have found her. They want her back, unfortunately, as well. They cannot have her. Why? Leave. Watch. Kind of an unpleasant answer. Yeah, you're being rude, Kamara. I will give you one final chance. I shoot him. I'll, I'll, I'll try to sweet talk it. Um, so as, as you open your mouth to talk, Leita begins firing. Uh, this creature, however, is unsurprised at your aggressive action. Does that mean there's no surprise round? There's no surprise round. All right. It equally is prepared I'm to kill all of you. I'm surprised by this aggressive action. Can I just keep my natural 20 from the last Good roll? gosh, man. What are you rolling tonight? I think you've been top of the initiative every time we've. Uh... Um, I, I, was, I was at the bottom of the initiative order for the worm fight. Oh, were you? Yep. I didn't. Yeah, know. but we just walked away from. That we walked away from. Yeah, but you were allowed to walk away because they didn't get to act before you did. Yep. It's all those character sheets I burn after people die and then drink. It gives me the power to roll better. <laughs> but wouldn't that give you the power to roll worse? Because, you know, they're dead. <laughs> okay, so the creature sets itself down as Leita begins drawing an arrow. It literally, like, does a five-foot step back by just pouncing backwards in one smooth motion, opening its mouth and just releasing a cloud of black gas and going, Because, you know, it's almost like we're in a cone. And... Let's see here. Almost. Not quite. Killing everyone in the room, including the geisha. Not quite. Uh, Where is she at? All of you get the fatigued uh, status. Damn. All right. Okay. So you take minus two good? to your strength and your dexterity. You just feel very tired as this creature opens its mouth and goes, oh. I wish I could, in reaction drink a potion, and then, like, suck all that air into my tum-tum. That'd, That'd be cool. That's not happening. Elismus, what are you doing? Uh, can I identify what this thing is? Yes, it is a arcana check, as it is a magical beast. Uh, you identify this as a new A. It's kind of the oriental version of a chimera. You get 15, it's 27, you get one question. Wouldn't look better in a top knot. You said minus two strength and minus two decks? Yep. Yeah. I linked the condition tracker if you want to. I'm just adding it to my uh, little condition thing here on the show. <laughs> Because it does all my combat numbers. Uh, Dan, did we lose you? Yeah, someone knocked on his door. Oh. Sorry. All yeah, right. what's your so, question here? Uh, so it's a magical beast, new a time era. Uh, spell resistance. It does not have spell resistance. We've lost your camera, by the way. Wop, 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 wop. Neat. What do you want to do? Uh, how about a selective nauseating cloud? Okay. That sounds like fun. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to center on the square behind that thing and select out all allies and the two that are not fighting. Uh, 
Um, yeah, where are those girls? Because this is going to be important when I start talking. I don't even know what stuff. a nauseating cloud is, man. You mean stinking cloud? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right, it gets a fortitude save. What is yep. your DC? Uh, it still functions like a third level spell, even though meta magic. So twenty-three. It passes. Of course, it does. By one. one. So, yeah, so bad. Well, every round it stays in the cloud. It needs to make a new save. So. E. How big is this cloud? Because you're selecting out certain squares, right? I'm selecting out people. People aren't affected by it. <clears throat> Oh, so it's a magical cloud? It is a magic. It's a cloud affected by the selected. It has to have magics. a duration of instantaneous, bro. Sorry. Oh, seriously? I can't make this a. Nope. Wah, wah. So I don't do any of that, then, do I? Uh, that would be a bad. Tell me what you're going to do. <sighs> I mean, you're, you do it. We've already rolled the save for this. It happens. It just goes very poorly for you because it's a lot worse than what you thought it would be. Yeah. It's going to go bad for everybody, isn't it? Uh, so, it's a 20-foot radius, yep. so as far away from the party as possible, You're I like, guess. like, hey, man, it's it's selective. And then the spell is like, that's not how it works, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're, not, you're not solved. You can't just remove people from that explosion. Yeah, I think I can put it in this corner. Wow, that's the, sure. this corner. Yeah, that corner. Yeah. Okay. No one can go no. into melee. Okay, so it disappears in the cloud. None of you can see it anymore. I can see it. It. Is. Yes. Anything else, Elismus? Nope. I've made a terrible mistake. All right, Soul. What do you want to do here? Uh. Well. I mean, I can get rid of the cloud, but I, I don't want to because I can see it perfectly fine. Um, yeah, but Latas are canon and can't. Here's the thing. I have to fucking let it go at some point, so it's going to still be a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, the breathe-in thing. Yeah, uh, so... Um, I am going to throw frost bombs at it. Okay. Two of them. All right. Hey. Uh, nice. Good start. Your crit confirm will confirm. Nice. So you're going to deal 28 plus 36. It's also cold. Uh, you deal 94 points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yep, yeah. you are. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's uh... Okay, anything else? Uh, I can't move or anything because that was a full, full action. You can take a five so. foot step. You can five foot, yeah. Oh, well, then I five foot the booty back. All right. One step. Yerl. I will, uh, this is your turn, Leta. I will five foot to here, and I will cleric channel, and I will remove the fatigue condition from one of my allies who would happen to be next in the initiative order. Yeah, uh, Leta. Uh, isn't that while using Lay on Hands? Uh, no, Lay on Hands is sickened. Uh, channel, cleric channel is, I can paste it for you in one moment as soon as this okay. gets working. Uh, it's called Merciful Healing. Okay. And I will put the link in. You're removing it from Leta? I will remove the fatigue condition from Leta. I can remove one condition from one person, either fatigued or blah, 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 right. staggered. Leta, this creature is still within the cloud and so is effectively invisible to you. It has total cover, total concealment, it whatever you want to call it. It has total concealment. Okay. Yeah, um, total cover. Uh, trying to work out what the um, frost stuff does. Yeah, it might be staggered, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's staggered. What staggered um, needs to make a save? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. 
port save DC 10 plus half your alchemist level plus your intelligence Rough. modifier. Um, it's usually the same as the reflex save to avoid being. In the no, spot. I've got it on me. I've got it on the thing. You can just read it. It's right there. So, first of all, Priestess's red tits are staggered on the next turn. Must I make a fourth save? That makes both its saves. Okay. So I can't see it. I'm going to um, I'm going to activate my destructive blessing. Okay. That's a standard action. Um, that's that's all I'm going to do. Yep. Until it comes closer. All right. It five footsteps through the cloud. Uh, entering concealment against Yarrow. And then she begins ripping into Yarrow. What is your AC now? Uh, currently I'm 30. <laughs> because of the dex damage. Dexa. Okay, no, no. Uh, plus no and no. All right. Nice. Uh, it, it reaches out to bite you. Uh, with its giant monkey fangs, and as it does that, a second almost illusionary head pops out the side of its neck and also tries to bite you from around your shield. Oh, uh, dude. And then it whips its two claws under your shield and tries to get into the chinks of your armor, but fails in every way to defeat your defense. And so it's like on top of you, and the two of you are tussling at the edge of this horrible... Now, does it, yeah. does it appear to be affected by the concealment as well? It is. Also, does it okay. need to make like another nauseating yes, check? Yes, it does. It? I'm already on that, and it succeeds as well. Okay. All right. Elismus. Uh, well, all my area of effect spells are going to be shite. Uh, actually, let's send a glitter dust its way. Try to blind it. Uh, that's going to be a will save. DC. Show me the area you're putting it on. <laughs> DC 22. I'm going to center it from this point. So it'll be just enough to hit him and miss everybody else. This point also works. Okay. <laughs> Alright, it fails. He is blind. <laughs> Chad is the greatest. <laughs> All right, Saul. Pick that up. Yeah. Um, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I make a, a remarkable series of puns as I throw two more frost bombs at them. Uh, it will both hit. Damn! Look at that fucking forty-three Good on that grief, damage. man. <laughs> <laughs> That's some fucking damage right wow, there. Wow, that's, that's insane. Yeah, two reflex uh, fortitude checks nope, as it, well. It turns into a frozen statue of ice and shatters <laughs> as the second <laughs> bomb hits it. Wow. Oh, fucking All right, it. eager to make use of buffs, Leta steps over, does a quick trap check on the door, and then cast open close if there's no traps. I love I love how you're eager in character to move quickly, but when I'm like, what do you guys do? Everyone's like, move one <laughs> tile forward and check for traps. Hey man, I didn't even move my little, little guy. I let these guys lean and do whatever they need to get. Uh, so, I mean, there's two women sitting in here staring at each other, but you guys literally fight around their bodies and then immediately well, are, leave. Oh. Got it. Quick detect magic. Um, Which one of them is a ghost, Arthur? They're both ghosts. They're there dead. is nothing magical in here. Not even the statue? Nope. Uh, Can I'll you make try a to... knowledge arcana check? Yeah. Can I? The, the answer is yes. Would I? Alright, even on a one, you can make both of these. Both of the bodies are being preserved with gentle repose, and neither of the bodies have souls in them. Oh. I'm right here, though. We're going to have to find... I, I'm literally not having sex with them, Martha. Like, seriously. Okay, so we got their bodies. We just need their souls. Okay, let's go find our soul. Seriously, I get nothing from that great joke. Come on. <laughs> 
Oh, you got a head oh. shake, son. And <laughs> <laughs> all right. If As there's you no cast traps, open, close the door. Swings open, We're and then closes the again. hallway. <laughs> In this particular room, you find a small vault with a writing desk and a tall chair behind it. A small cabinet and two bookshelves. Immediately visible to your eyes, Leta, is a secret door used by swinging the bookshelves out. Considering how well hidden the rest of this dungeon was and how hard it was to get here, it's literally child's play, almost as if it was a joke of to make these bookcases swinging. It's so obvious that there's a hidden door behind them. That means that it's not obvious that there's a trap on there. Most likely. Yeah. That or somebody really, so, really, really wants us to go back there. The bookshelves are loaded with scrolls. There is an unlit lantern sitting on the desk. And on the chair, a long, dark case lies on the uh, mat covered. The, the chair has a mat on it, and on top of the mat is a long, dark, wooden case. Is that magic? Yep. Uh... The shelves contain numerous scrolls, and hidden inside some of the scroll cases are potions. The case is non-magical, but something inside it is also magical. I mean, I can identify these potions, like, just by... Yes. You identify the potions as potions of bull strength, cure moderate wounds, protection from energy, cold, and water breathing. Somebody write Someone that down. That, that's the kind it. of thing you use alchemical allocation with. So, bull strength, cure, mod, cold. prot, cold, mm -hmm. and water breathing? Yep. Mm -hmm. See, I could just use my actual elixirs for that instead of uh, drinking version. <laughs> does Leta check this scroll case for traps? I take ten on the whole room. I've, my buffs have worn off by now. There are no traps in this particular room. Okay, so, let's ignore uh, the uh, childishly simple secret door for now because that just has I'll, bad I'll written all over. It. I'll pop open the scroll case on the chair and. Uh, it's not a scroll out. case on the chair. It's just a case. Inside is a shamisen and an ivory pick. Oh, the shamisen her, uh, is magical. Her instrument that she... Uh, well, she left it back in her place. I mean, this must be uh, Spellcraft? Yes, this is an artifact, so you're going to need to make it very serious. Okay, so let me just go ahead and factor in artifact. the elf bonuses. Racist. Well, um, for identifying magic items. Nope. Wow. It is an extremely powerful magical item. It is beyond your knowledge as to what this particular item does. You do detect strong divination magic coming from it. You know, I think we found something very similar to this. Yeah. Back in the Geisha's place. Well, they were saying that she, the one that was there, she could use it to... See the past, present, and future. Yeah. So, I think you don't know if this is the... Okay. I'll, I'll give you this much. Uh, the one back in the Geisha's parlor was one that had the magical properties of this one detected on them. They swapped the two of them in oh. their ability. They used a series of non-detection and divination spells to swap the objects. So the non-magical one detects as the artifact, and the artifact one detects as non-magical. This is the real one. You're just unable to penetrate the illusion that it is not magical. Wow, that's subversive as hell. The two items have been swapped. This is the real one. The other one is fake and would do nothing if you attempted to use it. Okay. Well, let's take this then. Trust me, you can do it in Pathfinder. It takes a bunch of spells and it's dumb as hell. <laughs> Apparently useful to trick players, whoa! 
All right, so the door we see on the map, is that a different door than the secret door, or is that, that just a the secret, secret door? The secret door is, Pat, Jarl, if, if Farl has gone through there, that's where the secret door is. Oh, okay. Right here. Jarl has walked through it, if that is where he's currently located. Can you make a perception check later? Okay, I, I guess I didn't understand. So this... This passage is behind the secret door? Yes. The secret oh, door I is thought such the a joke, they assume you automatically find it. I I thought the secret door was over here in this wall. Okay. Nope. All right. We'll move on then. Uh, Leita, on top of the door directly to your north, there is a hidden magical door made entirely of shadow to the east. How is it a hidden door that's made out of shadow? It's magical. It's magic. <laughs> it's, it's like no no it's no imagine it like this way it's it's like it would only appear itself on when the light of the food moon comes down on it and you speak the word friend in elven which is melnock there you he, go okay. you can literally see the etchings on it he's like oh man look it's made out of shadow and the rest of you're like dude it's a wall okay first off don't melnock it until you try it Oh. <laughs> no, nope, we're done. Oh. And in the stream early tonight. Uh, okay. <laughs> we, let's go for the interesting door, I say. What's behind shadow number one? I, I go up to the shadow door. Okay. I Do I have anything funky to tap it with? Um, I tap the it with drums. an adamantine arrow. Got an artifact. You can always whack it with that. It's not like anything is going to happen to it. The wall is real, but the door is is uh, equally ephemeral. You could open it simply by turning it. Turning the shadowy handle. That only you I'll can do see. that. All right. Well, just a moment. I wish I had some amazing boss fight music. Actually, I have that music I commissioned. I changed oh, shit. the music. I should turn that on. Boss fight. This boss is the... fight. I'm trying to spoil it for everyone, Arthur. Damn. I think we would know in a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I want to I think the description of the room is going to scream boss fight for you, bro. Yeah, the bosses in this have been wildly obvious, so... This it is Pathfinder. The bosses get full-length portraits. So I should move to my standard place behind Leta. So I'll be in whatever uh, area effect comes at us. <laughs> uh, uh, it's standard formation, I guess. Like that. That's standard formation, I yep. guess. Perfect. Fire nice little formation. lightning bolt formation. Chain lightning formation. <laughs> well, any formation is chain lightning formation if you... Oh, shit. Oh. This guy's got some fucking... Like metal rocking hair, I assume. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought he had cool hair. It's just fucking background. Okay. He's wicked looking. Reminds me of uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Yep. I wanted this guy to make like terrible '80s rock music. That's what I thought his little icon looked like. <laughs> He's got like fucking massive white hair. The colors in this large room have been completely faded, and even the familiar scent of green tea seems to have lost its fragrance. Panels of gray wood line the walls, imitating a lattice of rice paper shoji walls, and the floor is paved in marble. The ornate archway you pass through uh, is matched by one on the north wall, opening into a short tunnel that ends in a stain of inky darkness. Four braziers burn in each corner, illuminating the room in a green, shadowy light. The man turns towards you, raising his hands as electricity arcs between them and says, So, you have come at last. Ooh, yeah, I'm right. You will never have the girl back. I could explain right, my right. evil plan, but instead, you will die! Oh, for initiative. <laughs> Man, why does everyone try and talk to me, but then, like, disregard who I am? So weird. Why am I only... oh yeah. Are we not fatigued anymore? 
Um, what's the duration on the fatigue, Arthur? Uh, that fatigue lasts for eight hours. Oh, okay. Well, oh. then I will go ahead and burst twice and get rid of it. Then. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, restoration will get rid of fatigue as well. Do, okay, so you're getting rid of fatigue on everyone? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of the other fatigues. I'll go ahead and burn the turn, the, the bursts. That is scary, but I'm going to do it anyway, so. Thanks, Brad. So, everybody's initiative is one higher, I guess? Or at least mine is? No, mine is normal. Okay, okay. Well, Mine'll be a... Mine'll be a... Fuck it! Don't go first! Yeah. Are these the same ghost guys that we fought before? No, these look very different, and they are not affected by your daylight spell. I was just fixing to say they're still here, so... So, uh, Soul, as you yeah. prepare to begin your turn, the man uh, gestures above him, and you can see copies of both women that, that were in the other room seem to be floating above him, laying down in kind of one of those exorcist things. So they're just floating above him, and he whispers to you and says... I wouldn't rush your attacks if I were you. You want to save these women, don't you? Eh, yeah, take it or leave it. And with that, Arthur, I proceed to do what I do best. <laughs> okay. I, uh, uh, what's the distance on my throat? I think it's like, it's been a while, so I think it's like 15 feet? 20. They're bombs, though, so... Um, yeah, they got a range increment of 20 feet. Yes, you are correct. So, straight up. Straight up, hunky-dory. Alright, good. I, I throw I throw a couple of frost bombs in there, Arthur. Okay. Excluding the floating ladies, obviously. Good call. Yeah. Shadows so, are probably just... resistant to cold. Yeah, but these are the bombs with the crystal stuff. I mean, the uh, incorporeal shadow. But things. they're probably resistant to cold damage. Well, I don't know. I'm still going to throw frost bombs because this dude's a dude, so. so well, the guy is, yes. Yeah. So the second one's pretty dismal so roll. He right? takes a reduced amount of damage. You can see as your bombs hit him, there's something forcing your your cold damage off of him, like a glowing okay. warm shield. Interesting. Um, is that even with the uh, ghost powder or whatever? That does nothing to him. Uh, the ghost powder, however, allows your bombs to deal full damage to the shadowy figures. Uh, mm -hmm. Only one of whom saves against your attacks, and so they're going to take twelve. They're going one takes twenty-four, and the other takes twenty-four minus six for eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and he is staggered by your freezing power. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Uh, Thanks. So he immediately lightning bolts you and then chain lightnings you. But he's stacking. Yep. You can do this. Quick and spell. So he literally just like snaps his fingers and then sets up for a second spell. And it's like you get struck by lightning and then a second bolt of lightning comes in shortly after the first one. All right. I think I have damage reduction on. All, I mean, all of you have to make saves against this. You're all standing in a line. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I'm gonna die. And I'm sorry, what was the save? Uh, the reflex. save for both is reflex. Reflex, okay. Uh, where do I find my defense and stuff? Uh, you have okay, five, so I have electricity. five electricity. Five yeah. electricity, yep. So reflex? Yep. Boom, 33. And a second one. Yeah, you got to make a saves. Save. 19. Not so good. Not so good. And you failed the save against the good one. Wait, what was the first one? The first one is just a regular lightning bolt. The second one is a chain lightning. 
Oh, okay. Wait, is, uh, how does chain lightning work? Does it like bounce from me it and then go to other? You're not the primary target. Leita is the first target. It's going to so hit Leita and then work its way backwards. Okay, but if he blocks it or whatever, does it like fall off? No. No? Okay. No. But let's see here. Um, wait, uh, so that's do you have uh, the evasion? Yeah, you do have evasion. So you're going to take no damage from this later because you made both saves. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, at least miss. You're going to fail both saves. And so I just forgot right. how much damage you're going to take. So much. And the plus. Wow. Okay. Do I get the. 20% dodge chance on match. 94 points of electrical damage. Whoa! Dead. Good night, guys. <sighs> negative, <laughs> negative con dead. Negative con dead. Negative 20. Uh, uh, let's see here. That's pretty rough. I am that's really of... glad that I didn't do shield, o shield other before we opened the door. <laughs> okay, soul. With your... Defense bonus. And yeah. One. Sorry. Five. Six. Six, five, five, four, five. That's actually a pretty good roll. Minus five. You take 36 total with your defensive bonus already in from the first attack. Okay. Do I. I'm sorry. You, I... take, um, you take uh, 18 total from the first attack. Okay. So, um, okay, so, um, can I dodge these attacks with the 20%? No, it's magical, so it's not a direct attack. The second one hits you for 53. I'm, okay, so I take 18 damage the first time, even though I saved? Yes, you take half damage from the save. Oh, okay. Yep. So, 18 plus 53. Um, well, it's dead. That's crazy. Yeah, roll. You're gonna save on both, so you're gonna take half of ninety-four. Okay. So you're gonna take forty-seven. 47. Uh, and Leita takes nothing. Wait, well, how come Leita takes nothing? Because they made both their saves and they have evasion, which means whenever they take half damage, they take no damage. Oh, cool. That's a cool thing. That's a that's a ranger rogue thing. But so, let's get it too. what does staggered actually do? Staggered means they can only take either an attack or a move action. So he can't, but he move, he attacked twice, right? His so. first attack was a non-action, because he used quicken spell. <laughs> and Pathfinder is so fucking weird. Well, it's um, a swift I action. Mean, yeah. yeah. Right? Yes. So... I mean, I, I do swift actions regularly, so can't complain. Let's see here. Eh, as I as like Elismus burns to death, Ugarita is like, So, I show you my great and amazing power. You will join him in the afterlife shortly. Also, I have a lot of cool stuff to say, but you'll probably kill me before I get to my dialogue. <laughs> like all Pathfinder bosses. They want to just tell you their life story shortly before dying. Uh, Elismus is dead. So let's yes. talk about Yerl. Um, I will cure critical on soul. Mm. And that is, I'm trying to read, make sure I'm doing it right. Cure critical is 48 plus one per level, and I get a bonus one. So, uh, 13. So you heal 28. Nice, thank you. I will swift action to lay on hands on myself. And this is automatically empowered, so I get uh, 16 points back. And I believe that I will be done. Uh, actually, you know what? I should get out of chain lighten. No. I, I can't do anything with Leita on the door, so I don't want to go all the way in. I will be okay, done, so I guess. 
Later. So does stone skin block magical stuff? No. Okay. Later, what's up? Right, I look at him and say, Is that the best you can do? <laughs> uh, he says as the rest of his part is like ah! <laughs> By the way, Soul, discretion's the better part of Valor. You might want to get out of sight. What? So I'm firing a lot of arrows. The first two are fire trap arrows. The rest are blunt trap arrows. Okay. Uh, so I think I've got this. Stain. As you start shooting, do you have anything that would counter displacement? 50% displacement, displacement is concealment? concealment. Yep. I can't think of anything. Okay. Well, then you'll need to roll for anything that hits. Okay. Let's start rolling lots of dice then. Oh uh, my god, no are you kidding me? Wow. Something's wrong there. That macro's off. You're only a plus eight on your rapid shot? Yeah, <laughs> I've I've updated damage instead of to hit in the macro. God damn it. Um So the rapid shot should be twenty one. So will not hit. I'm not, I mean, a, an addition of 21 rather than an addition of 8. Oh, that's, that's 23. So 23. Um, 20, 32? 22, I think. I'm sorry. What What is the final value of the rapid shot? 23 to hit. Okay, that will not hit. Okay, then nothing else will hit. Yep. All right, so two 50% miss chances. Yep. Uh, high is hit. Yep. Okay. Okay. So right off the bat, that's uh, 11, 20, 27 damage. And now the fire traps. Um, what type of arrows were you using? You were using fire trapped arrows? Which are just normal arrows. Okay. All right. Just, then. Yeah. Your clustered shots is going to activate uh, off of. I am so using much. a plus four bow, so it ignores stone skin. Okay. All right. Um, he makes both his reflex saves easily. Okay. So you're going to deal twenty five points of damage. Well, that was one of my least impressive rounds ever, and now the shadows will TPK the party. Okay. Uh, so I think the shadow can literally just be like da 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 da. Um, <laughs> John Cena sucks. John Cena's amazing. He's the best you ever. You heard about? You heard about Daniel Bryan? Yeah, right? I did hear about Daniel Bryan. I'll have to talk about that later. Uh, okay, so here's Isn't what happens. These threads coming up to me. Dang. One of them moves around through the walls and pops out behind you, Soul, cutting off the escape of the party. The other one attacks you through the wall, where it has a 50% miss chance, which doesn't stack with your cloak's 20% miss chance. Wait, how the fuck, really? Yeah. They're in so he, has worse, he has a worse chance to hit from attacking through the wall, because he can't see you. He's literally just lunging through it. That doesn't... If he can't see you, your cloak has no effect. Uh, we need everybody to flip cams back okay. on real quick. Well, these ghosties go to town. Go to town on people. <laughs> Man. Can I hide I... in the corpse of uh, my dead friend? Uh, he is not a tauntaun. <laughs> I have to say no. Uh, and then I'm guessing that almost certainly hits your touch, AC. And... Did I have mage armor on? I don't know if you ever casted that. Yeah, what is your... Do, I mean, did you have mage armor on? I put it on. Okay. okay. So is that, what is your, that? What is your dexterity bonus plus your mage... Well, it's plus four. My touch AC is... Oh, okay, well then it'll be 24. He will connect. Um, okay. What about that 50%? He rolled a 93, so he hits. Uh, right. You take two points of strength damage, so lower your strength by two points. Gladly. It's like the one thing I don't use. Yeah, except when you hit zero, you go unconscious. Uh, when you hit zero with the shadow, you your soul is ripped it's from your body. Shadow, yeah. 
Cool. That, that's that seems like a good way to go. Uh, Soul, it's your turn. Elismus is dead. There's now a shadowy ghost standing over his body. Another one just jumped out of the wall towards you. What do you want to do? So this guy in the wall, he doesn't get an attack of opportunity, right? He will not. The one behind you will. <sighs> Can I stand on the same square as a friend? You can if they are dead. So I can't occupy you the same space. You can't willingly enter another person's square and end there. And end you could there. go through, but you can't. Can yeah, you can go through, but you can't end there. Right. Can I borrow? Do you have something that would allow you to burrow? Yes, I do. What is it? Um, drink. So you would have to drink the potion and then burrow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. What is it? Hmm. Can I coat myself in the stuff that makes it so that I can hit and call for real stuff? No. I don't know what it would do. You can't put gold salt on your body to make you a monk that can hit ghosts no okay you are not a All weapon right. nor are you ammunition <laughs> you saying i'm not a weapon Arthur? what's going on here that's what i literally uh, just said i also said you weren't a person too remember yeah i'm literally nothing apparently in this game <laughs> uh i'm going to uh so here's what i'm going to do Arthur. i'm going to put a sticky bomb on, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a sticky bomb, one at this guy, this ghost man, okay, and one at this wall right here, okay. Um, the idea being that uh, hopefully the these are both the ghost salt ones. The one um, you throw at the wall will do nothing. Okay, but here's the thing, uh, on the sticky bombs work the next turn as well. So it's it's sort of like an explosion and it keeps exploding. Um, I'll allow for That's that. Sure. Was, yeah. So basically my intention here is to try and stop the ghost man from... It, it, so what it is is anything that takes a direct hit from it. So yeah. that door that you're throwing it at next turn will have a second explosion happen. Yeah. If you attach a sticky bomb to the door, it's going to blow up now and then it's going to blow up again next round. Yeah. The door will blow up, not the creature. However, you might blow the door open. That's fine. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't know. You are going to take an AOO from your first attack to throw a sticky bomb at the first shadow. Uh, do I have point blank though? That's not going to make a difference. You need a pretty I... deep feet. Oh, you need a deep feet. What if I five foot step back? Which I mean, got, where would you, you find? You got nowhere to go. It's a problem. You have nowhere to go. Nah. Fine, I'll take that one. All right. Screen witness. Fifty yeah. percent oh. chance to miss then. <clears throat> wow. Uh, it hits. <laughs> um, you. Oh, that's right. You can't critical this. Uh, you can't critical ability damage boost, or you would die instantly. Uh, you take six more points of strength damage. Wow. What's your strength six down to? Six points of strength damage? Yeah, wow. you've taken eight so far. So what's your strength down to? Uh, it would, um, I don't think you can carry your gear anymore. Uh, <clears throat> I'm at two strength. Yes, you are, you're basically being crushed under the weight of your own equipment right now. Uh, but you can fumble a bomb out real quick before you go, so let's see those throws. Y yay. Pathfinder is so much fun, guys. Um. <laughs> That's going to hit. Deal full damage. So this is your... Uh, this is your 7th and 8th Ghost Salted Bomb. So. Now the first, the first couple ones I was firing at the other guys weren't stick ghost bombs because there's no need to use it. Okay. Uh, I guess. How, I mean, how many bombs do you have a day? Eighteen. Okay. Then yeah. Yeah. Right. So, uh, you kill him with the first bomb. 
Cool. And <laughs> you easily blow open the door with your second bomb. Uh, nice. With all of the splash. Mm -hmm. Inside, you see the other shadow and... A chamber, it looks like an alchemical laboratory with a marble table in the middle of the room and a suit of weapons and other tools of the trade stored on wall shelves. A weird cart is near the table with a set of silver surgical implements and an array of ominous looking torture implements on the lower shelf. You see numerous skulls and there is a blood drain on the floor. What's a blood drain? Uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. A brain that's made out of blood? No, a blood drain. Blood drain. Oh, a blood drain. I think no. said a, I, a blood I heard brain, brain too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard brain. Blood drain. Yeah. All right. A, a channel to run off blood. Yep. Yeah, I get that now. All right. So, no. yeah. Um, does... See, unfortunately, if you hadn't blown over the door, I could have protected you. Now I can't. <laughs> well, I mean... I, I gotta do what I have with my situation. Yeah. So. Um, so you can so five foot now, however. Well, yes. no, you I'm can five foot now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I drag myself over the corpse of Phil. As he sees your retreating soul, the man yeah. holds his ring up and it flashes blue for a second, and he points his finger towards you. And a thin green beam of light connects you. Healing me fully. No. And all of a sudden, we can't see your skin anymore or your flesh. We just see your skeleton outlined. Can you make a fort save real quick? Oh, shit, no. Roll big, man. Roll big. Right, Roll bigger. Because there ain't Roll no bigger. coming back. Roll bigger. Oh, Roll. I, I kind of expected to play this game for more than a couple of sessions is where I died, but we'll see. Look at that, yeah. Wow. Nice. wow. Uh, you're not just going to die. You're probably going to lose some of your equipment. Uh, wow. You're going to take 140 points of damage. <laughs> I fucking... I'll find a man, Mike. <laughs> uh, this is also a necromancy death spell, so you can't be brought back with yeah. Raised Dead. You have to use a much more expensive spell. Which we uh, don't do have. Do you have a physical to. shield, Saul? I have a uh, magical shield. No. Do you have a piece of armor on you? I do. Okay. Your armor is instantly and completely destroyed. Celestial? Yes, it's gone. Wow. It is immediately <laughs> destroyed and rotted away. But I'm dead, so whatever at this point. <laughs> this is Pathfinder. It's literally just like a high-level D&D 5e game. Yeah. Bringing you back is literally like going to the corner shop and getting a... Well, in your case, it's actually going to be a lot harder. You're going to need at least a resurrection or better. Which we've already shown that we can't get. Um. So, yeah, you read it as just like, Surrender now, remaining fools, or I shall surely destroy you, as I have destroyed your entire party. <laughs> Uh, so Lismas is dead. Yarl, what do you want to do? I am going to ask Leta to uh, five foot away from here, and I will delay. Okay. Leta, what do you want to do? Um, okay, he wants me to five foot step. No guts, no glory. Well, you can shoot first. I mean, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I can shoot it doesn't, after. It doesn't it, matter. It doesn't affect you, yeah. Um, I have uh, the first two of my arrows are again bludgeoning trap arrows. Uh, okay. No, I still didn't fix the damn macro. <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, everything but the iterative one will hit, and you will kill him. Tell me how you want to do this. Fucking yay! I should have thrown the bombs at him. Jesus Christ. Well, you had a 50 50 mischance, so. The first two arrows together each take out an eye. The third shot, which is potentially a critical, um, goes through his throat and 
the last shot, just for fun, hits him where you really don't want to hit a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you can see his soul begins to leave his body, uh, and his ghostly form stands before you, Leta, and he, he gestures toward the two women above him and says, All I wanted to do was to put my wife's dying soul into my daughter's body so we could be together forever. That's fucking And then you gross. see like like a literal grim reaper come out of the wall behind him and just scythe his soul in half and then pull the pieces through the wall. Nice. Okay, that's actually psychopath. really cool. That's like psychopath. that's like go- bad guy dying in ghost bad ghoul. Cool. Yeah. But then Yero gets attacked. Uh, I will five foot away from the what's it? Okay. And cast Death Ward on myself. Uh, well, that kind of fucks his move up, right? Because he already five foot stepped to move next to you, and you ready right, action. He also explodes again, Arthur. Uh, the door explodes, but I'll take that. No. Remember, the the sticky bombs only explode again if they're attached to the target. Your and target the is the gone. door, not him. Yeah. Oh, and I will also swift action to lay on hands on myself. All right. Uh, Soul's dead. Elismus is dead. Yarrow is in delay. And so it's late to us turn again. 722. Now I delay until after Yarrow. <laughs> <laughs> you just kill this thing so we can call it a night? Not sure I can. I, uh, what the heck? Light it up, man. Do what you can. All right. Um, no, Yarl, on, do, Yarl, do something cool while I try and fix my macro. Uh, I I really have a whole lot of nothing. Um, Yarl strikes a it, it, disco if, pose. If you're going to my turn, you're going to delay all five foot up and uh, full attack it with the magical silver cystus. Okay. Anything else that you're doing? Smite, smite, smite. Uh, I will use my other smite for the day, I suppose. I got okay. nothing else going on, so. All right, let's talk about it. See if this even works. <sighs> so it is plus my charisma to hit and plus my level to damage, right? Yep. And double, double this time. Yep. So On the first hit. Five and sixteen. Oh no, it's just let's just do eight. We'll add one to the first roll. So thirty-five to hit on the first one. Yep, and you're gonna 20, destroy him. Twenty-two damage. Miss chance. It's incorporeal. Uh, incorporeal is not miss chance. It's half damage. Oh, okay. Yep, he's gone. Boom. Wow. I guess we'll uh. Carry our buddies. Wait. Uh, it's the end of the night. Is okay. Is this it? Nope. I did the wrong thing. Sorry, guys. Stream's not over quite yet. My bad. There we go. Now I pressed the right one. My bad. My bad. We're still here. Don't leave <laughs> quite yet. Uh. I can't even. Yeah. So that was the thing tonight. Wow. How about that? Uh, we're going to have all week to plan how to recover from this horrible fight. Um... <laughs> Soul's yes. soul is uh, definitely somewhat unpleasant as a result of getting fingered of death. What did I thought it was disintegrate. It's called finger of death. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a death effect, mm. and when you fail, you die. Just dead. What was the pass? Uh, 23. I don't think I would have been able to make that. Finger answer. of death can destroy equipment? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. If it was, I thought it was disintegrate. No, it's finger of death. It's a damage spell. He failed the save, and so his equipment takes damage. Yeah. Nobody uses that rule. I use that rule. It's in the core. <laughs> it's in the core, yeah. I... No one I, used that rule because they're stupid and dumb. I've been using it all campaign because I'm amazing and awesome. I'd say no one uses that rule because it's stupid and dumb. 
Well, you can't have cool adventures where someone's like, I have a broken sword that was my father's, unless you have the sword break. <laughs> <laughs> That's what carotid columns are for. Jesus, carotid Just columns can't up. do shit to magical weapons. They literally can't overcome the hardness. Oh, well. All right. Fortunately, we have some things to talk about here at the end, like how amazing we all are. Audience, you want to give all of these guys a hand for their amazing overcoming of this guy? I would just threw bombs at him. I, mean. <laughs> I, I do not deserve your hand. He sure, you died a horrible him. death in the first, first 10 seconds of yes. the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Through no fault, no fault of your own. Through no fault of your own. I just didn't roll it. I just didn't roll as high as he did. Yeah, yeah the I Alchemist know, is... Pretty fucking damaging if things happen right, but I don't know, man. It's a damage, it's, friend. That happened. Uh, yeah, I there's a this. lot. There's a lot like of thought process in like what to do, and it's kind of like weird. Like, mm, not my favorite class, but eh, whatever. I level Pathfinder uh, very much rocket tag. We learned that tonight. Yeah. <laughs> rocket tag. You know, where yeah. you're playing tag with rockets. Yeah. Whoever strikes first tends that. to win in, in Pathfinder at high levels. Uh, Unless you have something like the stupidest fucking cloak in existence that lets you just amazingly dodge every goddamn attack. It's only 5k, man. It's only 5k. It's done its work as far as I'm concerned. Didn't yeah, do any work for me this episode. Work, but like... Sir, it has done work. Oh, yeah. yeah. Last, last game, he must have missed you seven or eight dang times. Yeah, it was yeah. super assault. That that was five grand worth right there. One fight, yeah. yeah. I'd have paid um, five grand, five grand to miss that. Are we good for next week? Everybody good? I, I don't know. Do I have to make a new character? No, <laughs> I, I think we'll we'll talk about it during the week. But I think we can bring him back. It's just gonna cost money. I don't have money. That's the problem. So. Yeah. Fortunately, some of your companions do. And I think yeah. I think. While they may disagree with you on certain codes of the the word honor, uh, I think tonight you've definitely proven that you are a worthwhile member of the party to have. I yeah, that's, that's true. Is, but I can't speak problem. for the other players. But I was like, well, that's a lot of damage. And that staggered effect sure did suck balls. Well, I mean, it still didn't do much in the boss fight with the staggered. So. Couldn't move, couldn't pull out potions, couldn't heal himself with his yep. move action. Oh, is that everything that he didn't wasn't able to do? Yeah, it takes away. It yeah. makes you have one action. He literally can be like, "Ha ha! I shall drink this intense potion and heal myself." He's like, "Oh shit! I guess I can just lightning." <laughs> and he's still able to smoke us with all that in in, in effect. So I can't imagine how much more difficult it would have been if he was actually it would have been well. really difficult because if he didn't have the staggered effect, he would have started summoning uh, shadow demons. And probably oh. taken over a couple party members' bodies and used them as puppets. Wow. Yeah, well, that'll do it. That will do I it. don't remember what my celestial armor does, so. Uh, it's like. It's just a really good chainmail. Yeah, it's. You can look up the stats by just going to the Pathfinder website and looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, speaking of ending the game, we, yeah. could, we should be back next week. Uh, and with it, we might, might, might be ending book five. Really? Yeah. That could be a Ooh. thing. Next week might be the end of the book five and the beginning of the finale, book six of Jade Regent, where we finally confront the nemesis we knew we had all along, the Jade Regent. <laughs> the uh, if you're looking for another was... cool tabletop RPG streamer, you always have your choice in Dave here by going to twitch.tv slash Henley and checking it out. If you're watching this on YouTube, by going to my YouTube channel on the right-hand side, there should be a suggested broadcasters list where you can find Hensicle, which is Dave's uh, YouTube channel. It's a so, giant chicken face. You can't miss it. Uh, I think next week, David, let's remember to talk about Daniel Bryant. I'll take that as that a yes. Maybe you doing that on needed. stream? Yeah, on stream. We can talk about it at the beginning. Okay, I haven't actually seen his his speech. Well, before next I week, do... I'm sure you will. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you then. Bye. Good night. <laughs>